Hey everybody, this is Trish from Crazy Engine Treasures and I just wanted to show off my new caftan that I did. Completely finished. I did this. I'm so proud of myself. This is a pattern from Bag O'Day. Her easy cardigan, I do believe. I used Waterford Big in purple. And then I did something that um, she didn't do. I uh, outlined it in black just to, in single crochet, just to give it a little bit more. Thank you, Danky. So, yeah. Look at that. Look at what I made. I'm really proud of myself. That's my foot. Um, what else did I do? Let me sit down and move the dogs over so I can tell you what else I did. I uh, made a scarf. A scarf. And this is in black and gold by Burnett Premium. And I made a beanie. So it's a matching set for Christmas. Shh. I made another set. I don't know where I put it right now, but I made another set for another person for Christmas. And hmm, I don't know if I showed this in a previous video, but I will. Let me untie it because I tied it with a bow. This is a cowl and fingerless glove set. Will you stop trying to hog the camera, Gus? So this is a cowl. It'll go over her head. Look at those colors, hey? So yeah, I did that. And fingerless gloves. And that's a Christmas gift. So, yeah. And then what else? Well, this is a major finished object for me, the cardigan. I've been working on this for a while now. My chair sank down. So now what I'm working on, if the dog will let me buy... I didn't put a stitch marker in it, is, go away, a blanket I'm working on. This is just a rectangle granny square done in red heart stripes in the colorway polo stripe, and that's all it is, but it is beautiful. I love the colors in it. Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous jewel tones. I love it. So I had to get some and I had to make myself a blanket. I first saw it. A friend of mine made, sorry, I'm dealing with some yarn that's falling and my dog's head's in the way. I first saw what polo stripe looked like in a granny square. My friend made a, a granny square top. That is just gorgeous. And I fell in love with the yarn. So I'm not into a granny square top, even though it looked really nice. But a granny square blanket I can do. So that's what I'm doing. And what else do I have on the go? Oh, I'm going nothing much more. Well, I have my pink and black um, corner to corner gingham blanket that I'm still working on. That's still a work in progress, but it's gone. I've been put aside. And then I have my velvet uh, caftan I'm making, and that's been put aside. I think what I'm going to start next is my king size blanket because I'm in the middle of 
getting all the yarn I need for that. And I've got the colors picked out. So I think I'm going to start on that. Because I'd like that done by January. So it's going to be a king size blanket because it's for our bed. So I'd like to get that done. Started and done. And my husband wants a hood for his uh, poncho. So I got to figure out how to add a hood to his poncho. So I'll figure that out. I need more yarn. I need more blanket yarn. Burnett blanket yarn. And I can't remember why it'll come to me. But hubby and I discussed it yesterday. I needed more blanket yarn for something. For something. And uh, let me see. What else have we been doing? Other than that, I've just been dealing with... Uh, I had a nightmare about moving yesterday morning. Seriously. A nightmare about moving. Ah, so obviously I'm still traumatized by the move and still dealing with uh, the stress and everything. So um, just get over it, I guess. Um, I'm working on it. Working on it. I still get moments where I feel that I should be getting. <laughs> Hi, Gus. Hi, Gus. This is my service dog, Gus. He's telling me he wants attention. So he's very pushy. He's very pushy. Yeah. So anyway, what was I saying? I was saying something. And it's right there at the tip of my head, but it's fading fast and I can't remember and it's gone. Yeah. So whatever it was I was saying, I wasn't done, but it's gone now. Sorry. Uh, what else? Let me see. So yeah, I'm still going through some stuff with the move. I think that's what we were discussing. So I'm working on it. I still get some anxiety where I shouldn't be here. I should be in Saskatoon. So I'm working on it and we're not unpacking as fast as I want to, but I understand why hubby is hesitant to unpack the kitchen because we want to paint the kitchen. We got all the paint. We might as well just paint the kitchen and then get the paint. Then we can unpack the kitchen and everything has a place to go because the kitchen's done or the cupboards are painted and the walls are painted. So kitchen isn't done. We want to do the countertop too, and we will eventually do the floor, but, um, we can do the countertops and we can do the walls right now or the cupboards and the walls, paint the cupboards, paint the drawers, paint the walls. Yeah. We got everything we need for that. So we can do that and then we can unpack the kitchen more. And that makes sense. So right now, every time we cook, we're going searching in boxes for stuff, but we're getting to know where everything is. So it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. It'll be strange living like this for so long. It'll be strange having everything in a proper place. Mm. We don't even have a kitchen table right now. It's in pieces because hubby doesn't want to put that up in the kitchen without, you know, when we're going to be painting. So, and I understand that makes sense. So I'm eating, I'm eating in the living room on our nice new rug <laughs> on my cherry wood and marble uh, car, uh, end table. Yeah, that's okay. Just being extra careful and so far so good. Only thing that got swapped on was my doily, and now it's got a little itty bitty bitty spot of tomato sauce. Big deal. It's not a handmade doily, and it was a bought doily, so. And let me see. I really want to push to get this craft room done because I've got, I got, I got all of my hooks for, uh, well, they're earring hooks. They're lever back here, earring hooks. 
So I have all of these hypoallergenic earring hooks that I can use to make earrings or see two different colors of gold. Antique brass or antique whatever. And then the silver you saw. And then I got my pins. My pins came in. I haven't taken them out to see what I've got. So let's see what I got. Oh, I got some ones with little balls. Ooh. Got some ones with flat heads. Ooh, look at those pretty nails I got. Oh my goodness. Those are color street. We got some with flat heads in this color. Ooh. Round balls. So yeah, I got lots of pins. So now I have everything I need to make earrings or stitch markers. That's what I was trying to spit out. Stitch markers. So I'm really happy that those came in. Those came in just this week. Like um, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Because nothing came in yesterday. Now to put them all back in here. Hmm. They all fit in this box somehow. I don't know how, but they did. I haven't been able to fit and close the box properly since I opened it. Yeah, see? That will spring open. Oh well. So yeah, I got to get my, I got to get all of this stuff. Like I got a whole bunch of stuff over here that's stopping me from getting to my, to my workbench. So I have to deal with all of this stuff and I have to deal with all of this stuff over here behind me over here. So I just don't know what to do with it all. So I'm trying. And I've really been pushing to do this. So I haven't really been doing anything other than crocheting. Because I wanted to get this done once I started it. Because I've never made a wearable like this. I've never made a cardigan. This is my first one. So I'm really, really proud with how it turned out. But Bag O'Day has awesome tutorials. And I just followed her step by step. And she walked me through it. So that's all I did. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm looking outside. It's beautiful outside. It's snowy. We were under a snowfall warning and we got dumped on. But mm, it's pretty. And I do like the way everything looks nice and white and clean. So, But winter is here and it sucks. Because I won't see the grass again till spring. Because that's not going to go away. No, there's enough of it. I th and we're in enough of the season that I think we're going to, winter is here. Snow is going to stay. I'd be surprised if it all disappeared. Not with the temperatures we're getting. It's not very cold, but it's not very warm. So, yeah. But other than that, things have been going really, really well. Um, hubby's on the mend. He has his good days. He has his bad days, but with Crohn's IBS, you know, it's how it is when you have a flare up and those flare ups can last for months. So we just take it one day at a time. And you know, some days he's doing good. Like yesterday he was, uh, started the day off rough but he started feeling better as the day went on he actually ate and then he went outside and he shoveled the walk he did some stuff 
We ate supper last night. I made spaghetti and meat sauce and he ate it. Said it was tasty. So yeah, he's feeling better. But it's a daily thing. Some days he's good, some days he's bad. So I have woke up with a migraine this morning, but it's thankfully gone. So that was odd. Waking up with a headache. I haven't woken up with a headache in a while. And it was a migraine. So I'm just happy that it's gone. I got a feeling it's not. I got a feeling it's lurking really deep in the back there. Because there's a bit of a... But it doesn't hurt. And I'll try and forget about it. And maybe it'll just go away. Fingers crossed. You know, migraines, they act weird. And if you can get to the point, um, with my migraines, if I can get to the point where I can, um, like I woke up with it and it was a migraine, I had the uh, light sensitivity and everything. Um, I drank some water and then I had the hiccups. Then I drank some iced tea and then I had no more hiccups. And... I just carried on with my day and my morning. It's only 9.55 here. I just kind of woke up at 8. So I haven't been up for, just been up for two hours. And I have to say, you know, my head's a little heavy, but it's, there's no pain. So I probably still have a migraine, but we'll see how the day goes. Absolutely see how the day goes. I don't have a problem with going back to bed and sleeping if I have to. It's such a hardship. So I'm just lucky I don't have migraines all the time. Um, when I do have them, they can get really bad. But uh, I haven't had one in a long time. So fingers crossed, like I said, that this one will just go away. It's right there in the back of the head. I can feel it, but it's not painful, so my last my last tea, my first tea of the morning, and I'm just swishing it around, make sure I get the last dregs in there. Oh yeah, I was cold, but it was still good. So I'll go downstairs and make another one. And then maybe I will get started with this room. Like I said, I've been concentrating on this, on, on cross stitch, um, crochet. Um, the first time we moved out, like we moved here, the 31st, the first, the 31st, really, the 30th. Hubby had been moving us here since, well, since the 30th, really, because that's when the floors were done. The floors were done the 29th. Hubby came and he started moving us in, like, the heavy stuff the 30th. And he just packed up and he would go and he would come back and he would pack up and he would go and he would, you know. And uh, I was stuck at the rental cleaning with the dogs. And, uh, that was fun. <laughs> no. And the cats. But we lived through it. We survived. Um, we got here. And once we got here, we kind of just basically vegged for the first week. We've just been chilling. I mean, hubby hasn't been feeling good. So he didn't do much. Um... I wasn't feeling good. I was done too. So the first week was a write off. And we're now into getting into the second week. So it's about time I at least work on this room for today. I will get some stuff done today. I like to be able to sit at my, my, uh, workbench and I got this really cool 
and I would show you, but I got a dog right behind me, like right behind me, right behind me. He's like lying right against my chair's wheels. How comfortable is that? Like, so I would show you, but I can't, but I got one of those, uh, people use them for nuts, bolts, small, uh, small little pieces. They're, uh, they got drawers in them. It's like a shelf with drawers, not a shelf. Um, it's almost like a stand up tool chest and it's just got a bunch of different little plastic drawers. So I got one of those because I used to have a pegboard and a second shelf. And now because of the shape of my room, with the slanted, I can't have my uh, pegboard because I have this big window. So, um, yeah, because this would be the only window, the only wall I could go again against. But I have this big window, so, uh, so no pegboard, and the pegboard was where I hung all my tools, a lot of my wire. Um, some of my finished pieces. So I got no pegboard, no hooks. So I have to figure out some other way to store my tools and my wire and things like that. So I'm going to be going through all of my tool chests, not tool chests, all of my, uh, stone containers, all of my bead containers and just reorganizing everything. So that I utilize the space that I do have as best as I can. If that makes sense. And other than that, I love it here. Still love it here. Still not cold. We have chilly days. But we bought, when I we moved here, I bought three big space heaters by Bionair. They're lovely heaters. They work great. And uh, we got one in the living room, one in the kitchen, and one still in its box. And that's perfect. I mean, wow. They just heat up the whole house. They really do. So, and then up in my craft room, like I said this morning, it was a little chilly. I got a little space heater here, one of those little fireplace ones. So, I've got that going. And that heats up this area nicely. And the dogs have fur, so they're fine. Other than restless dogs. But it's time to feed them breakfast, so I guess I should go. So, you know, because you're starving and uh, if I don't feed them they might perish because you know they're starving they're obviously sticks and bones aren't you mudfoot yeah so I will see you all in the YouTube streets thanks for watching and uh, when I as I make my stitch markers, earrings, whatever, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching. Peace, everybody.